Hey guys, Kilotho here. Today I am going to be taking this dead lithium ion 20 volt max Dewalt battery. This one's rated at 1.5 amp hours. And I'm going to be replacing the 18650 cells with some brand new NCR 18650Bs. These are actually Panasonic batteries. They're 3400 milliamps each. Um, made in Japan. These are not the Chinese knockoff ones. They're about, I don't know, it was like $35 for six of them. I think this was about $5 on eBay. So, for about $35, I'm going to make this 1.5 amp hour battery into a 3.4 amp hour pack, which will be pretty sweet. Let's get to it. Okay, so first off, you'll see that these things have a security Torx bit in there. Um, you can find these bits fairly cheap off of uh, Amazon. I think I bought a whole pack of different security bits. So this one, you know, you can see it's just a little Torx bit, but it has a uh, hole in the center. So it can uh, fit right in there. So let's open this. Let's open this bad boy up. Pop this pack out of here. All right. So this is kind of what you're working with here once you get this thing open. Um, looks like there's some solder here. We'll have to get off a couple things. Um, these seem to be spot welded on here, so we probably won't be getting those off. Maybe I'll try to pop them off. We'll see how that goes. And then uh, if I could pop them off, it'll be easy to just solder it back onto the new cells. Okay, so after removing those, it came off pretty clean. Um, one of the tabs, one of the tabs broke off. I think that should be all right, though. Um, yeah, so I just kind of flattened them back out with my hammer a little on the edge of my vise. So right here, I have an, uh, an adjustable soldering iron. I'm gonna crank it up to pretty hot. Alright, so I got a couple of these little holders here. I'm just gonna clamp these on to just to give it a little more stable work surface before I solder these. Now keep in mind I'm gonna try to solder these around the camera, so I hope this I hope this works okay. Should be alright. All right, well, it's not the prettiest, it's not the prettiest pack. All right, after a little bit of fiddling around, one of my solder joints wasn't quite secured on there. I wasn't getting full connectivity between all the cells, but now that they're charging, we're getting, you know, it looks like, actually, yeah, let me put this in the screen so you can see here. Looks like we're getting, you know, full voltage. Right, let's take it out and try it. So yeah, these cells. So I just put it on here to test it, make sure it's functioning and charges correctly before I button it back up. And uh, yeah, it should be, I think we're going to be good to go. Check back in a bit. Alright, so this thing finished charging. Let's check the voltage here. Yeah, we're at 19.8 volts. 
So, divided by five cells. Oh, well, yeah, basically, looks like this charger is only charging them up to about four volts a cell. That sucks because they could go to 4.2. Maybe it won't be as much capacity as I was hoping. So, all right. Let's uh, put this bad boy back together. I think uh, it goes this way. Okay, so after a little bit of examination, I thought my solder was too fat, but look at this. Come to turn, find out. Yeah, already at a disadvantage. These cells are, I don't know, an eighth of an inch. Six, sixteenth of an inch shorter. So I was looking at this case, trying to figure out um, what I could do here, and I think I can just shave down uh, some of this right here. This, I think I can shave these down with the Dremel. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that. See how that works. All right. So it looks like the Dremel sanding wheel did the trick. I just ground out those little parts that I had just pointed out and it fits in there much much better without all the bowing. Let's see if I can get the top back on. Alright. Back together. One more time, so I'm gonna shorten nothing out. Sweet, looks like everything's together. Here's the test, let's try it in a drill. Look at that, amazing. Amazing. All right, there you have it. So, for the price of five 18650 batteries, which were about $30 and $5 for the dead pack. And a few minutes of labor and some persuasion. You too can rebuild your pack for 35 bucks. And hopefully now we're at about 3.4 amp hour, give or take. Let's just call it three to be safe. All right guys, thanks for watching. Bye.